name is Stan Williams. I'm a senior solution engineer here at Sauce Labs. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Sauce Connect Secure Proxy. This is a downloadable binary file that allows you to connect to web assets, which may be behind your corporate firewall, such as a QA version of your website, so that you may test those assets from the Sauce Labs environment. What you're seeing is an ugly website with a red background. Notice that the address for this website is 127.001. Uh, that means that it's just running on my local computer. Now, a moment ago, I ran a manual test from Sauce Labs and tried to connect to this website. And what I got instead of the website was this message saying, hey guys, guess what? This is a great use connect for the Sauce Connect proxy. So let's take a look at how you get started with Sauce Connect proxy. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this testing session. That's gonna return us here to the Sauce Labs UI. On the left-hand side, I'm gonna select Tunnels. It's near the bottom. This time I'm actually gonna click on it. What this brings up is a page that shows you the steps of getting started. In step one here, download the binary that's appropriate for your platform. Step two tells you to open port 44. Three. That's because the Sauce Connect proxy uses that port for listening for Selenium commands. Uh, and step three here is a command line executable for your Sauce Labs tunnel. It uses your Sauce Labs credentials, but because I already have the tunnel binary on my machine, I want to show you the command line I use, and then we're going to test to make sure that it worked. Let me switch over to a terminal view here. And that's what this large blue screen is. It's a terminal. As you can see, I'm referencing the binary here with SC, and then there are arguments following that. The first two, dash U and dash K, reference your Sauce Labs credentials. The access key it talks about is not your password. It's an access key that you can find in the account setting of the UI, the account section of the UI. As you can see, I actually have these credentials stored in environmental variables, and that's what we recommend you do too. It enables you to share configuration files and tests among your whole team without sharing the credentials. The dash I flag allows you to name the tunnel. Again, I'm using an environmental variable because I refer to this tunnel in my automation code. We'll take a look at that in a minute. The dash B all flag is just what I'm using to turn on secure certificates through the Sauce Connect tunnel. And finally, the dash S flag allows your tunnel to be shared. There are many arguments, but this configuration here is gonna work for almost every case. I've clicked to start the tunnel. As you can see, we get instant feedback that the connection has been made. And we get a notice here at the bottom that says, when you see the message, you may start your test, then go ahead. However, I know that the Sauce Labs UI has already uh, acknowledged this tunnel here. The page we were looking at where you download the binary has been replaced with the details of the tunnel we started. Here we have the tunnel name. That's the environmental variable I was using. Uh, the host computer for that machine, this is mine. How long the tunnel's been running, who started it, etc. So this tunnel is now good to go. I'm gonna start a manual test and attempt once again to reach this website here. So I've gone in, it's, the website is already selected because this is a saved configuration. Next to the URL, I have an option for the Sauce Connect proxy. In the dropdown, we see the username and then slash tunnel name. I'm selecting the one I just started and I'm gonna start the session now. What's happening is that the VM is spinning up and I wanted you to see this whole process. We're spinning up a VM and in a moment, the browser is gonna open and we're gonna see actually the website itself. Well, you can see the red out of the corner of my eye. So we know that using the Sauce Connect tunnel to reach this website behind the firewall worked. So that's great for manual testing. You select it from the UI. But what I wanna show you quickly is how you reference tunnels in your automated tests. So I'm gonna stop this session and I'm gonna click over to an IDE here I have a couple of things going here. This is a Java project. These first three lines that I want to highlight, uh, as you can see, they're all setting local strings equal to environmental variables. There's the username, the access key again, and the name of the tunnel again. 
If we scroll down a little further into the capabilities that we are setting for this VM, you can see we're setting the platform and the browser. Down here, we're actually setting the tunnel identifier to the local string tunnel, which equals the environmental variable. So when we kick off these tests, they are gonna pass through that tunnel. I am switching back to my terminal here. This is just a little utility script I wrote up that helps me organize my tests. And I'm kicking off those tests that we discussed just now. As you can see, I'm getting feedback here that the VMs are gonna start. Let's look over at the Sauce Labs UI now and see that those tests are in fact going through the tunnel. So you can see we've got 35 out of 100 uh, VMs in use here. I spun up a lot of tests. I'm gonna go into the automated test results section. And what we see here is a, last of the a list of the tests currently running. As you can see, the Sauce Labs badge in this column is lit up. That means that this test is going through the tunnel. You don't see the tunnel name here. What you see is the unique identifier that Sauce Labs has given to the tunnel. But we do know that we are passing this test through the tunnel. All of those are still running, but I scroll down to show you a couple of other jobs here, kicked off from my Jenkins server. These are not going through a tunnel, so you get the tunnel inactive flag instead. That's the basics of how you use the Sauce Connect tunnel to connect to a website or other assets behind the firewall. We have uh, references at the wiki for the Sauce Lab Sauce Connect proxy. Uh, there's more information in the UI at the tunnels page. I hope that that helps you out with connecting to your test environments using Sauce Connect.